The stock market is a great place for new investors, but the fact is there are a lot of duds out there. So today I'm gonna to walk you through my personal process on finding great stocks in the stock market. Hey there, this is Wayne from Bird Research. The purpose of this channel is pretty straightforward, is to help new investors just like you grab that financial future you've always dreamed of. And in today's episode, I'm gonna walk you through my personal process on how I go about finding great stocks to buy. And if you stick around to the end of the video, I'm gonna let you in on a deal on some great stock picking tools that are perfect for new and seasoned investors. So let's get down to business. Okay, so here we are at the Market Club homepage. This is a great page and I put a link to it in the description. I've done quite a few videos on Market Club and related tools and I put a link to that playlist in the description. So what I want you to do is go over here to Smart Scan and click on that. Now this is Smart Scan. What this does is this has different criteria and it goes through their entire universe of stocks. And what you can do is just go along here and click on the different scans and it'll tell you what they are. So for example, strong four week high, and we'll wait for that to load. And it'll tell you what it is, the new four week high, markets reaching new month highs. Verify the chart analysis score for momentum as markets change quickly. Let's just click on another one. Let's go over to Crossroads Up and click on that. Crossroads Up plus 60. These markets are struggling to move into a solid trend. Beware of choppy markets and consider a sidelines position until a stronger trend is identified. So you can go through these and kind of look at what the scans interest you the most. What we're gonna deal with today is called chart 100. And we'll wait for that to load and let's just, let's just see what it is. Strong uptrend plus 100. These markets are in a strong uptrend that is likely to continue with short-term, intermediate, and long-term bullish momentum. The price continues to climb. Traders should protect gains and look for a change in score to suggest a slowdown in momentum. So as you can see, once we run this scan, we come up with 337 different markets. So what we want to do is narrow this pool of stocks down a little bit. Equities are fine. We're not really interested in Forex, futures, or mutual funds, so we'll stick with equity. We're going to view as bar charts. That's perfectly fine. Last price, we're going to put in greater than 10 to try to weed out you know, some of the penny stocks and related low price stocks, so greater than 10. We're going to put in here for volume greater than 2 million so that we have a really liquid set of stocks that we're looking at. All exchanges is fine, and we press scan. That'll take a moment to load. And then as you can see here, our universe of stocks has decreased significantly to 33. And as you can just kind of like scroll down here and you can see a lot of great candidates. Again, these are really strong stocks that are showing really strong, short, intermediate, and long-term momentum. So they're really worth taking a look at. As you can see, there's Costco. Um, I was looking at this earlier. Journal Mills is here. Abbott Labs is here. Hormel Foods. So a lot of really strong companies. And the nice thing about this is that what I do is go up and click on chart analyze this page. Now what that's going to do is bring up a chart and the smart scan score for each of those candidates that we already screened for. So let's just grab one here and see what it says. So Costco, long term trend has been up since May 3rd. The intermediate trend has been up since October 20th and the short term trend has been up since December 10th. So as we read here, strong uptrend plus 100, Costco is in a strong uptrend that is likely to continue. With short-term, intermediate, and long-term bullish momentum, Costco continues to climb. Traders should protect gains and look for a change in score to suggest a slowdown in momentum. As you can see, the um, smart scan scores all the way over here at 100. So if we were interested in Costco, we could go ahead and add it to our portfolio at this time. But what I would do is go over here and click on the chart and what this does is it shows us our green trade triangles across different time frames, daily, weekly, and monthly. And let's just select weekly and daily so that you can see now the, the chart has every time frame populated. Uh, since I tend to be a long-term investor, what I would do here is deselect both daily and weekly. And it shows me that this hit a buy signal on a long-term basis uh, way back in May 3rd of 2021. So that gives me a positive outlook for this stock. 
So here we are back at the Smart Scan page. What I would do is go through these different Smart Scan filters and then add my own custom filter in addition and see what it comes up with. Learn what the different definitions are for the different filters and the different Smart Scans. And it'll really get you ahead of the game when it comes to picking your own stocks. Thanks for hanging around at the end of the video. Now here are those offers I was telling you about. They're both from Market Club. The first is called four bucks for four weeks and you get their entire suite of tools for an entire month. It's usually 50 bucks a month, so it's a great deal. And these tools are perfect for seasoned as well as new investors. The second is called Stock of the Week, and it's a free offer. All you have to do is give them your name and your email, and they'll send you their Stock of the Week that their algorithms have selected. Now, I've made links to both of these in the description. And remember, these are affiliate links, so if you do click on them, I may earn a small commission. But frankly, I would recommend these stocks no matter if there was a commission involved or not. So take a look when you can. Thanks. I hope you got something out of today's video. And if you did find value, please remember to subscribe, comment, and like. And if you do have a specific stock, ETF, or investing concept you'd like me to take a look at, please put it in the comments below. Thanks for watching.